Good morning and welcome to morning prayer this Tuesday morning. Let's pray. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all. To you be praise and glory forever as your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation. May we rejoice in this day that you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen your, our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to, to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Psalm 133. Behold how good and pleasant it is to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down upon the beard, even on Aaron's beard, running down upon the collar of his clothing. It is like the dew of Hermon, running down upon the hills of Zion. For there the Lord has promised his blessing, even life for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from 1 Timothy, chapter 1, beginning to verse 18, and going on to chapter 2 at the end. I'm giving you these instructions, Timothy, my child, in accordance with the prophecies made earlier about you, so that by following them you may fight the good fight, having faith and a good conscience. By rejecting conscience, certain peoples have suffered shipwreck in the faith. Among them are Hermineus and Alexander, whom I have turned over to Satan, so that they may learn not to blaspheme. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions and thanksgivings should be made for everyone, for kings and all who are in high positions, so that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all goodliness and dignity. This is right and is acceptable in the sight of God our Saviour, who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and mankind, Jesus Christ himself, a human who gave himself ransom for all. This was attested at the right time. For I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth. I am not lying. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. I desire then that in every place that men should play, pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. Also that the women should dress themselves modestly and decently in suitable clothing, not with their hair braided or with gold, pearls or expensive clothes, but with good works as is proper for women who profess reverence for God. Let a woman learn in silence with full submission. I permit no woman to teach or to have authority over a man. She is to keep quiet. For Adam was formed first, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived. But the woman was deceived and became a transgressor. Yet she shall be saved through childbearing, provided they continue in faith and love and holiness with modesty. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your Lord. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. 
Amen. In your tender compassion, O God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Let's pray. Let us pray for, for today and for the tasks ahead of us. Lord, we ask you would bless those on half term, that they may rest. We ask you to bless those at work, that they may be kept safe and find fulfilling work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world and for its needs, especially as it now copes with the pandemic. Lord, we ask you to be with those who are suffering in mind, body or spirit, and ask you to bless them and heal them and restore them to full health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, be with your church as we strive to bring your love and your peace to the world. Pour out your Holy Spirit so we work in your strength and not in our own to accomplish this great work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Blessed Lord, who calls all holy scriptures to be written for our learning. Help us to hear them, to read, mark, learn and inwardly digest them, that through patience and the comfort of your holy word we may embrace and forever hold fast the hope of everlasting life, which have give, you have given us in the, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you, one, one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the authority are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in life eternal. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.